What is currently happening programs? Welcome to The Grid VR, where I'll be bringing you this week's news in virtual reality. It's Saturday the 22nd of July 2017 and all I can say this week is VR sex appeal at a steal. We've got Summer of Rift Sale, Good vs Evil, Lone Echo Strikes Back, Marvel Powers United VR, a Ready Player One movie pick, Oculus's $200 standalone HMD and way much much more. Today I'm going to cover off the main events to keep you in the loop. So stay locked, crush that like button, enjoy and welcome to the Grid VR. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ bringing you reviews, tutorials and game clips minus the sh**. You can follow me on Twitter at Facepalm with a one not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find then like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to bring your game face. Let's get it done. First off, apologies for making everyone wait two weeks for a new grid video. This new addition to my studio was the main cause, though I'll accept full responsibility for all the chaos and delays he's caused in his first week here. Because look at that face! Moving on, the big news these past two weeks has surely been the summer of Rift sale, where the new Rift and Touch bundle saw a massive price drop down to $399 US, which brings it in at the same price as a PSVR and half the price of a Vive. Palmer Lucky even chimed in by tweeting, how about that ballpark? Which, you know, is funny, given the context. And while you as a program, being easily capable of sensible thought, would likely think, shit, that's really good for VR. It's gonna bring a whole lot of programs into the grid thanks to that amazing price point. Well, while you may think that, the sale actually spawned a ton of passengers Please brace for upcoming content turbulence. Fucking spastics and liars using misinformation based in bullshit speculation and the troll moniker to collect fake internet good boy points to jerk off to in their pathetic solitude. Not sorry. And while some of it was just laughable, like this post from the technologyreview.com that goes on to say that the Rift sale is yet another sign that VR is failing and that we shouldn't believe what Jason Rubin says about this not being the case because what would Jason Rubin know about product and content marketing strategies? He's only the VP of Oculus, the guy who bought us Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter and co-founded Naughty Dog Studios and while yep JR has a vested interest in the success of VR, the author's reasons for citing all this rubbish are just that rubbish. And then there was this post referencing the Rift sale on the Vive subreddit which said, I almost bought a Rift yesterday but followed my heart and decided to lick balls for a living. Well, that's how I read it. And the reason I'm defensive about this sort of shit is that A, this type of post doesn't represent the Vive community but people dropping in for the first time may see it that way. B, I want VR as a whole to succeed, as do a lot of us, and all the platforms combined are going to be needed to achieve that. So this type of intentional segregation is bad enough if it were true, but this was made worse by C, the post was clearly 100% bullshit, which the op actually admitted in this post. Now I don't know about you, but to me, making up a fabricated post to get fake points and then trying to say it was a troll to then get more points in the sub you are slating, all at the expense of VR as a whole, is pathetic. But aside from the negativity, what turned out to be really cool about this post though was that the sheer amount of common sense and knowledge that became the top comments were glorious. The highest voted posts were essentially Ops an idiot, stop hating, Valve has flaws too, boo fucking who, VR for everyone. It was a beautiful sign that as a whole, VR is in good hands. And while technically it wouldn't have happened if the post hadn't been made, fuck that guy. Back to the sale though, in order to support the low $399 price point, the new Rift and Touch bundle doesn't include an Xbox One gamepad, wireless adapter, Oculus remote, rock band adapter, or USB extension cable but it does come with a Rift, two sensors, 
touch, some free content, and will come with a new facial interface just like a VR cover for added comfort. And Oculus have confirmed that after the sale has finished, the bundle will still be a wallet-friendly $4.99. And regardless of your take on the sale, I have noticed an influx of views and questions on my channel from new programs who have been loaded into the grid. So despite all the drama, one thing is for damn sure, the sale is doing what they set it out to do, which is bring in more people. And for all in VR, that's a beautiful thing. Over to gaming, Ready at Dawn Studios have released Sex Pest Simulator. Just kidding. Unless you're in... No, I'm, no, I'm just kidding. What they have actually released is two of the most astounding VR experiences to date, simultaneously in the form of the Zero-G space adventure campaign Lone Echo and its free counterpart, the online friendship testing multiplayer Echo Arena. The games are both Oculus funded and so Oculus exclusive, but you can also spot lots of programs playing on their vibes by their constant thumbs up thanks to CrossVR's Revive app. Nice. The reviews for the multiplayer Echo Arena we know are already good, shameless self-promotion, click the link on screen now, and the full campaign counterpart Lone Echo is following suit. The initial reviews are all coming in at 8.5 out of 10 or above from all the credible sources, but don't let that fool you, the game is actually that good. I'll have my own review of Lone Echo presented in a shit accent and sarcastic monotone in the near future, so stay tuned for that one. But for now, all you need to know is the locomotion is revolutionary, the AI interaction astounding, the graphics are far beyond the par of what you would expect to see from a first gen VR device, and the story itself is more engaging than a drunken night out in Vegas. Both games together are priced at $39.99, which in my opinion is ridiculously cheap, and they have all the things that make you want to scream to the world how great VR is, and scream at your empty room through gritted teeth, depending on which title you are playing. Also on the games front, at Disney's D23 Expo last week, a brand new Robo Recall mod was announced, no wait, uh, ah, it's Marvel Powers United. The Oculus funded Disney licensed Marvel title developed by Sanzaru Games lets you exploit the unique traits of some of Marvel Universe's finest in a colorful comic styled VR co-op. At this stage, we know you can Hulk smash, use rocket raccoons, dual pistols and grenades, or leverage Captain Marvel's hybrid Cree human genes to punch the shit out of waves of hapless Cree soldiers before facing off with a traditional big boss at the end of a level. Additional characters will be announced at the San Diego Comic Con, which is on right now, and first off the ranks is the hilariously morbid Deadpool, who will no doubt run amok with pistols, swords, submachine guns, and a razor sharp wit throughout this escapade. Standard locomotion and teleportation options are looking to be the movement mechanic of choice, and to me, it looks good so far, in a freshly skinned Robo Recall kind of way. What's a little annoying here though, is that the game isn't due out until 2018, so like, MANA THE MEATLOAF! FUCK! It's a long time to wait. Again, still looks pretty slick and hopefully it turns out to be more than a wave based slash and smasher. And now ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to attempt to cram two weeks of the, and briefly, wrap up segment into a single breath. <sighs> Blade Runner VR 2019 Replicant Pursuit debuted at the San Diego Comic Con this week and is one of three VR experiences for the Gear VR that lets you pilot the spinner to track down and retire a rogue replicant in a dystopian future. More videos of the Bandai Namco VR zone in Shinjuku, Japan have popped up online showing off the Mario Kart VR and Neon Genesis on-site VR experiences and you can check the description below for a link to those videos. Onward got a massive AI update which adds an arseload of changes including tutorials, private lobbies so you can 1v1 your shit talking friends and a new solo co-op mode where you can go up against AI opponents of varying difficulty amongst other things. Again, check the description for a full link. CrossVR, the developer of Revive, has been sent a set of new Knuckles controllers from Valve so expect support for those around their release. Bloomberg has reported that Oculus plans to unveil a $200 wireless standalone headset codenamed Pacific for 2018 that 
that won't require a PC to run. Oculus is hoping this device will do to VR what Apple did for the smartphone. God damn, I know there's a joke there somewhere. Big Screen is getting a massive update next week that includes long-awaited improvements in performance in terms of CPU usage and multiplayer streaming, as well as a new iMac-sized cinema environment and experimental Windows 7 support. Six VR projects have been nominated for an award at the 69th Emmy Awards, including the Mr. Robot, Stranger Things, and The Simpsons VR Experiences, as well as Oculus' own Dare Angelica, Mission ISS, and The People's House featuring the guy that looks like Jose Oliveira. The first pick of the upcoming Ready Player One movie adaption by Steven Spielberg has surfaced online and shows off a dude on a VR treadmill sporting a haptic power glove, plastic VR headset, and flannel shirt in an 80s vibe space barely sufficient for a premium room scale experience. DP Cast have said in an interview with Rev VR that the wireless add-on will be ready for Rift in a couple of months. That's what you slipped in, that's what was on your shoe, and that explains the abrasion on your palm! And finally, I bought a new CPU. Not sure if it's any good, but it said VR ready on it. And that's this week on the Grid VR. If you have more you would like to add, then hit me up in the comments below and let's discuss. And if you like this video, then crush that like button, hit the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!